and that is from modern physics basically nucleus now at a glance it seems lots of complex equation but it isn't a little bit of calculation is required though so there's a reactor of uranium and you could see this particular reactor uses 2 kg of fuel completely in 30 days that has been given and it says that the energy released per fission remember is 200 mega electron volt the Avogadro's number has been given 1 EV has been given we need to calculate the power output of this reactor and very close to so a little bit of approximation you can do and see the options are widely spaced so you can easily find that now what are we supposed to do the power of course would be the total energy by time now the time let me take 30 days let's calculate how much is the total energy for that 2 kg of uranium let's try to find the number of molecules so in that given case you would find 2 kg so that's 2000 gram divided by 235 would be the number of moles multiplied by Avogadro's number gives me the number of atoms and with this number of atoms you know you can see one atom is associated with 200 mega electron volt so that's going to be if I multiply with this 200 into mega is 10 raised to the power 6 into 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus of 19 so this much joule of energy is associated with 2 kg now rest is quite simple you need to divide it by the time and the time of course is 30 days right so let's convert 30 days into second so 30 days and one day has 86,400 second now it's not mandatory that you memorize this you can multiply 24 into 3600 and that's going to be the power the value will come very close to 60 megawatt so for question number 19 the correct option is option number 3 let's go for the 20th question and the 20th question is from moving charges and magnetism you can see something associated with the helical path the speed has been given so I will call this as u that would be a better thing the magnetic field is given and this angle 60 degree is the angle between the initial velocity and the magnetic field and we need to calculate the pitch of the resulting helical path so this is a very straightforward formula based question and for that you know the component of velocity along the direction of magnetic field is responsible for the forward motion and pitch is the forward motion covered in one revolution so all you need to do is that 2 pi m divided by bq yes a little bit of calculation would be required but that's not going to trouble you so option number four would be the correct option for question number 20 now after question number 20 there are five questions and where the numerical value has to be assigned it is not the multiple choice questions let's see that question number 21 it is integer based and it requires a bit of calculation but that happens that's a part and partial of any examination right let's say it's from thermodynamics there is an engine which has 5 moles of air at 20 degrees centigrade and initial pressure has also been given and this is compressed adiabatically to one tenth of the original volume and the gas that we have is diatomic during this process we need to calculate the change in internal energy and just see how the answer has to be reported it's an x kilojoule so we got to find the value of x let's see the question would go something like this because it is diatomic so what would be the value of gamma the value of gamma would be 7 by 5 right and it is adiabatic 
So T V gamma minus 1 that is constant. That means by using this equation you can calculate the value of T2. Don't forget to convert T1 in Kelvin. 20 degree centigrade becomes 293 Kelvin. That's the initial. V2 is V1 by 10. Here a little bit of calculation is required. An effort is required. After that, we got to calculate the change in internal energy and that is of course equals to N C V delta T where C V is of course R by gamma minus 1. Now on doing this, you would get the value as 46 kilojoule and therefore in our given case, the correct answer for question number 21 would be 46. Now let's go for question number 22.